Hi guys, I'm gonna show you how to make reindeer food today, which is another um, holiday dessert. Super easy to make, don't need to bake it, doesn't take a lot of time. You just have to buy the ingredients and follow the directions and you're good to go. Um, you guys might notice that I have some marks on my face. These are um, demolition marks. <laughs> I was helping demo something and had a little accident, but that's what safety glasses are for, right? My eyes are protected, so I'm good to go. Um, I just didn't want you guys to think I had some weird open sores on my face or something. Okay, so um, the original recipe is makes quite a bit, and I do not want to make that much. I'm gonna give you guys the original recipe on Google Classroom, but I'm gonna be cutting it in half as I make it for you guys in this video. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do is weigh out my white baking chips, like the white chocolate ones. Um, it would just take, so the original recipe calls for 24 ounces, which you can't buy a bag of 24 ounces. It's the bigger bag in the store. So not the normal size bag, but the one that is bigger than that. So the normal size bag's 12 ounces. That would be half of, um, you know, the original recipe. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those weighed out. Um, something else I wanna show you guys before we start is that I have prepared an area for uh, me to put my reindeer food when I'm done. And that's just wax paper and parchment paper. So it's just something that your stuff will not stick to. That's what you want back there. Let me turn this light off. There, that's better. Now it doesn't look like I have a halo around my head. Okay, so I um, have my bowl on my scale, just like I did before when I was making, uh, what was I making, candy pecans or something. And I showed you guys the scale. So it's not on yet. I put the bowl on it first, then I turn it on, uh, make sure that it's set to the right unit of measurement and it's set for pounds and ounces which is what I want. So right now the scale reads zero and I want to weigh out 12 ounces. So this is a microwave safe bowl because I'm not going to be using a double boiler although I could for this. Um, I'm going to be melting it in the microwave because remember, I told you guys that was your other option. You could melt things in the microwave. So I'm going to be putting it in in 30 second increments, stopping it, stirring it after every 30 seconds until it's completely melted. Um, so these I'm just going to set off to the side because I really don't want um, to have the chocolate cooling down before I have all my other ingredients measured out in my bowl. I want to keep this. Um, at liquid as you know I mix it with the other stuff because if it's not then it just makes it hard to mix everything will start breaking up on you okay so in my large bowl I am going to get about nine ounces of um, Czech cereal the corn kind okay so this has 12 ounces so we don't need all of that you can buy the generic brand. You don't have to buy the Chex brand. All right, so I have my bowl on here again. This time I'm going to zero it out. And I'm going to weigh out nine ounces, which is almost going to be the whole box of this. So the next thing that I need are um, dry roasted salted peanuts. Normally it would get the whole jar, however I'm cutting it in half. So we're only going to be using eight ounces of this. This is just a normal size jar of peanuts, okay? So I'm gonna zero out my scale again just to make sure that I get the right amount. Okay, so I have my peanuts in there. I need my pretzels. 
I need 10 ounces. If you can find smaller pretzels than this, like I know around this time of year, usually they sell ones that look like rings, like small rings. That works really well in this. Um, you don't want big ones though, because uh, you just want to be able to break it apart and make it easy for people to eat. So 10 ounces. This is a 16 ounce bag, which is a pound. So I'm going to be using over half of it. And then the next item that we are going to add is M&Ms. So the original recipe calls for 14 ounces. We're cutting it in half. We only need seven. So I'm going to zero out my scale again. And this is actually almost a 20 ounce bag because I thought I was going to make the whole recipe, but then I realized that was a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so you might be wondering, well, why isn't there more sweet stuff in this? So, you know, we have the checks, not sweet. Um, pretzels, not sweet. Peanuts, not sweet. M&Ms, yes, they're sweet. If you have too much sweet stuff, remember you're going to be putting this white chocolate over top and mixing it over everything. So if you have too many things that are really sweet, it would just be overpowering. All right, so I have my white chocolate. It's about to go off in my microwave. And I only put it in for 30 seconds so far. And you can see that it's not really melted at all yet, right? You still see the chips, but the bowl is starting to get warm. Um, I still want to mix it up because microwaves do not heat things evenly. So if you don't take the time to mix this, you will end up having um, pieces of chocolate that are melted and pieces that are not. So while that is going in the microwave, I am just going to stir up all of my random snack foods in here very gently with my wooden spoon. Okay, so another thing that I want to tell you guys about melting the chocolate, because I have seen this happen before. You might get to a point where it's like starting to clump up and it's not melting very nicely. If that happens and you have some shortening at home, uh, put about a tablespoon in there and then, you know, mix it back up. That will help make it more, I don't want to say liquidy, but easier to stir and easier to mix with the other things in the bowl. So this is an eight quart bowl. It's a large bowl, you guys can see, compared to my head. It's a really big bowl. This thing is almost full with all of those ingredients. So um, if you're going to make the entire recipe, the original recipe, I suggest, like I said, getting a big roasting pan and mixing it up. That would probably be, probably be the easiest because it will give you a chance to have everything spread out. You won't have to worry about um, breaking up the snack foods in here. If you don't have a big roasting pan, a big saucepan would work. All right, it's starting. Ooh, I think it's done. I think it is all melted. Okay, so it's melted. I don't want to put it in there anymore because then I run the risk of burning my white chocolate which by the way, white chocolate is actually not chocolate at all. It comes from the cocoa butter part of the cacao bean or the cacao pod. Um, and it's not part of the chocolate part of it. So it's just from the fat. Okay, so let's pour this in here. 
And then we're going to try to be gentle, gently stir it. And try not to break it if you can. Get all that stuff out of there. Don't want to miss any of it. And then we're just going to lightly toss. my table over here onto my wax paper and my parchment paper. It'd be nice if you guys could see what I was doing about it, huh? And then I'm just gonna spread it out so it has a chance to cool and dry. And then when it's all done, you can just store it in an airtight container or you can put it in a gallon size bag. But you want to try to get it into a single layer. So you guys can see this was just half the recipe. If I made the whole recipe, it would probably end up taking up my whole good huge chunk of my table. This is just a normal size kitchen table. Hopefully my dog doesn't get it before it dries. All right, so that's reindeer food, you guys. Um, hopefully you make something and you know, I've made something that appeals to you that you might wanna try so that you are, you have the motivation to do that on your own. Um, I'll post some other recipes of things that we did not make that I did not make videos for so that you could see them and maybe get some more ideas for a lab. So good luck and talk soon.